and welcome to Script Tonight React. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching Fargo season two, episode one. The episode is called Waiting for Dutch. I don't know what that means. I'm not going to look it up because I'm worried about spoilers. So uh, Fargo fans, tell me, is this season also the titles relate and have some sort of significance? Because I'd love that if we can still do the research ahead of the episodes and tell little stories at the beginning. And, you know, it's fine if not. I'm going into this blind. I have a feeling that we're going to be seeing the Sioux Falls action that was really heavily referenced in season one. And a couple of you have hinted that that might be the direction that the show goes in. What I'd like to see this season is them improve pacing so that the season feels even. I don't feel like there is kind of dead time in episodes that's, you know, unnecessary or filler. And that's about it I, there was a lot that I liked about season one and the only thing that got in the way for me was the pacing and the the finale's kind of sidelining of my hero Molly Solverson be really interesting in this season actually if we get to see a young Lou Solverson I, I can get I can get behind that. So yeah, without further ado, let's have at it. It's the old MGM lion. What am I watching? It's the Fargo theme. What? Massacre at Sioux Falls. Guys, he's looking at us. Okay, he's moved on. Dutch, Reagan. Ronnie! Ah, the prince. The real class act. <laughs> Dutch is wrong with Reagan. Can I get a blanket? <laughs> <sighs> this is hilarious. I don't understand what's happening, but I'm, I'm with it. It is a crisis of confidence. Come on, Jimmy Carter. It is a crisis that strikes at the very heart and soul and spirit of our national will. A Kichita from Westworld. We can see this crisis in the growing doubt about the meaning of our own lives. 1979, okay. Two years before I was born. Confidence in the future. That was such a weird decade, wasn't it? The 70s. Sorry. Are you kidding me? It was the Culkin. Where's the goddamn money? Gave it all you, like yesterday. Don't lie. I mean, I'm I'm getting it. It's just a little late. The hell you say I did the rounds. Everybody peed. What am I ever going to be except the kid you send out for milk? You're a Gerhardt. That's like <laughs> Jupiter telling Pluto, hey, you're a planet too. What? Well, you wear short pants till you prove you're a man. I'm a man. You're the comic in a piece of bubble gum. Well, I mean, says you. You got till tomorrow to bring the collection money over. <laughs> or what? You make me wait for you again, I'll cleave your skull. Wow. Consequences. This is the month's cash. All in. You'll see the problem right away. It's the local business. Gambling and drugs. And whores. I ain't gonna good to that, huh? Don't pin this on me. Or me. We earned. But not right. No, but even without his net, we shouldn't be this short. Is that the president's wife from um, 24? Spit it out. She was blonde and she had the nervous breakdown, remember? Tell me, God damn it. Another outfit. Some pissant crew from South No Place? You bring me these in, I lose a motor foots and I'll grind their bones to make my. 
What's up? What's up? Someone's dying. <laughs> okay. Oh, his eyes! Did you see his eyes? It's one eye looking at you and one eye looking for you. Hi, friend. I'll be with you in a... Check never came is my point. I'm old for work I done. Me and the boys, we're old. <sighs> Giddy up there, cowboy. Wait your turn, short round. Mm. What'd you say? You heard me. Jesus, just... Uh, it's in the mail, okay? The check. Just, if it hasn't come by Tuesday, I'll write you another. Is this little guy our new Lester Nygaard? Behold the future. I'm talking money hand over fist. So, as soon as you talk to the judge and she unfreezes the accounts, well, then we can turn on the money spigot. The what? The money spigot. I'm saying, once we get those typewriters, the money... <laughs> there are so many people in this that I recognise. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm not going to be able to go through them all or I'll never have a reaction to the actual show. Oh shit. Oh, he's still alive. This is such an interesting shot. Are we see it, is this like everyone at the same time? Okay, now we're in Laverne, Minnesota. You're the comic in a piece of bubblegum. Oh dear. The waffle pot. Now I want waffles. Sugar? Uh, yeah. You're freaking me out a little. <laughs> That's a whole heap of sugar. I guess those probably diabetes is not the biggest thing he's up against too. He's cooked up off of his gourd. Is that a judge about to get whacked? No. What do you mean, no? Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. You're gonna change your mind about something. A case. Or what? There's two ways this can go. Is one of them the hard Easy. way? Easy. <laughs> you know what? There's a fella needs to get his hands on some typewriters. You're... Son, you have three seconds to pick your ass up and get out of here, or I'm gonna squash you like a bug. <gasps> okay. Look, bitch. I know what to... <gasps> Oh, she did it. Damn, I, I. Now scram before I call it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, crap. Oh, no! <gasps> no! You should have emerged yourself! Just the cops. 
the hell is that? No, so that what? Guys, is this a fucking UFO? Will we see it? I'm all right. Only my headaches. This is beautifully sharp. Oh, dear me, ejaculated Mrs. Pepper. <laughs> sinking in a chair at the dismay at sight of Ben's red face. Whatever we do now. It's a funny book, huh? <laughs> yeah. Phone call, hon. It's the shop. Murder. Yona says three of them over at the Waffle House. Salverson. Yeah, okay. Uh, tell him not to go inside. Hank on his way? Yeah. Is that Molly? I, I was hoping, but I didn't want to say. You okay getting her to bed? Yeah, she's six. Not, you know, Paul Pine. Call <laughs> if you need. You she's know, sassy. Whatever. Molly's mum is sassy as. I'm worried she's going to die, though. She's got rings around her eyes and she's been to the doctor. It's just, she's just rubbing her. <clears throat> what a scene. Is that Ted Dancer? Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name. This is a deal. Yeah, it is. That's Henry Blanton. Got the single season touchdown record in 10th grade. 31. Still stands. Oh, man. How's Betsy? You mean you didn't call her before you came over? Well, yeah. Just being polite, give you a chance to talk about your feelings, should you be so disposed. She's good, yeah. I love the way this Based sure. on the number of bodies, I don't think we got one car too many in the parking lot. Dollar with blood on it. Yeah. The other to the road here, where he absconds, leaving a few dollars behind. Uh-huh. Why not take his own mm -hmm. car? Unclear at this time. There's a shoe in that tree. There sure is. What? How did that get there? I, I despair, really. I just despair of it. I despair of it. <laughs> Local matter. Course. I'm just wondering if, because he was coked with his tits, was he seeing the reflection of the car lights on the white shoe that was in the tree? What did she just say, honey? What did she just say? I'm thinking it was a it was a UFO, or it, is there a UFO in this? I mean, he's an unreliable witness at this point. Jesus Christ, guys! I'm loving this so far. Loving it. Play. Well, of course, any support the state can provide. Yeah, of course. Mm. 